Idiocracy is one of the most fascinating, funniest, and most underappreciated films to be released in the 2000s. Hey, a couple of us guys were wondering, uh, if we go family style on her. When most people make mention of Michael Scott's behavior on The Office not working in today's culture... If I had a gun with two bullets and I was in a room with Hitler, Bin Laden, and Toby, I would shoot Toby twice. The same can be said for Idiocracy. Oh, you, that's... Go away, Baton! Idiocracy, like the infamous character from The Office, sells the concept of commentating on stupidity. Not this stupidity... The day at Felipe Picnic where I finally felt welcome! <laughs> but actual quality commentary on the future state of society's well-being. Idiocracy is a small-budget film released in 2006, written and directed by Mike Judge, better known for Beavis and Butthead and Hank on the Hill. Well, I guess we found the break in the sewage line. Damn, and I just showered day before yesterday. Idiocracy tells the story of Joe Bowers, an army soldier picked to be in an experiment due to his incredible averageness. The experiment eventually falls apart, leading Joe to be frozen for 500 years and eventually waking up in a dystopian future. Idiocracy is a ridiculous science fiction comedy that's obtained cult status thanks to its themes and, well, comedy. But if you could, uh, just get me well enough to get back to base. Right. <laughs> Ass. It's insanely quotable and incredibly intelligent. The film takes a look at culture, mainly Western culture, and blows everything up, whether it be media, sex, or violence. It's intelligent enough to never overdo these talking points. Sure, it looks at violence, but heads aren't exploding, and it looks at sex, but it doesn't throw genitals in your face. I made a <laughs> Idiocracy's world is its hook. The world has fallen apart. Everything is filled with garbage, watered down shows of nut kicking violence, <laughs> sex shops, corporate exposure, and pure stupidity. The sad thing is, upon viewing, you might find yourself saying, Yeah, I can see that happening. <laughs> The film doesn't hold back from putting a study on, well, people. In Idiocracy, society is slowly dying due to the inability to produce crops. Come to find out, corporate controlled greed has led mankind to believing crops needed Brondo, essentially this world's Gatorade. Water, the basic component of all life had been deemed a threat to Brondo's profit margin. Mike Judge weaves the plot into his commentary about society and does so masterfully. Joe, who just wants to get home, eventually gets stuck in this world due to his average level intelligence, making him the smartest man in the world. This leads to people mocking Joe. Serious, for a second here, okay? I, I need help. There's that fag talk we talked about. <laughs> this is where, I'm not sure in today's climate, this film could be made. He talks like a fag too. <laughs> People tend to think that when films or television is created, those characters being portrayed are being honored. Would you mind loaning me some of your lipstick, Mom? Because I want to at least look pretty the next time you decide to f*** me! You don't call retarded people retards. You call your friends retards. In the case of the world of idiocracy, or even a character like Michael Scott, they're not. Like Hannibal Lecter, their behavior is being displayed to be mocked to be studied, and to be cautioned. The humor doesn't come from the characters calling people retarded, but rather that we have devolved so much to thinking average intelligence is simply so smart it's retarded. Mike Judge isn't just talking about our way of absorbing content, as he shows with a film audience enjoying a two-hour movie literally titled ass, but also how we're controlled. Corporations in the world of idiocracy decide everything. Company names are plastered everywhere. Everyone is a lackey to corporate control, even repeating verbatim corporate mottos. Brando's got what plants crave. It's got electrolytes. Okay, and not worry about what plants crave. Brando's got what plants crave. Yeah, it's got electrolytes. Yeah, but why do they use them to make Brando? Because Brando's got electrolytes. It's clearly mirroring, perhaps darkly, the society we are slowly gliding towards. Of course, the concept is played over comedically, but that doesn't stop it from being right or true. Idiocracy deserves special recognition for the amount of work they put into making this world work. Judges' ideas and concepts of future society constructs only work if the world feels lived in. A lot of the sets, which are expertly designed and crafted, feel disgustingly real. It's one of the most genius, practical uses of product placement I've ever seen, despite the fact that corporate sponsors did not enjoy their name being trampled on. 
Idiocracy has become a cult classic for a reason. One, it's incredibly charming in the message it's spreading. Sure, the message can be definitely seen as a hammer pounding away on a nail, but it isn't sharing the message cynically. The humor, deployed ever so smartly, helps the film from being a nihilistic look at the future. Rehabilation. Why do you keep trying to read that word? You a fag? Fag your face. Two, the film really rewards multiple rewatches because, again, Mike Judge is speaking on so many topics that it's quite genius he managed to pull this off in a film with a runtime of 84 minutes. Idiocracy isn't a perfect film. The biggest knock on the film is the weird, almost out of place third act. It was reported that the film went under reshoots to appease test audiences, and I think that might be where that happened. The film over relied on special effects when it clearly didn't have the budget. Up to this point, the film had been thoughtful on its approach to really everything. The ending almost seems forced and kind of, believe it or not, Goofy? I don't think it hurts the film, but it definitely doesn't add to what Judge has spent most of the film creating. Can't believe you like money too. Mike Judge's Idiocracy is as much of a horror film as it is a comedic one. Its exploration of society's future, unraveled by stupidity, corporate control, and excess, is plain frightening. To the strength of Judge, he manages to not only abrasively look at this, but do it while making the audience smile. Listen, I, I. I supersize with you, but didn't you go to jail for not having enough money? I fear audiences today, those that discover it for the first time, might not get it or might even be offended by the content's adherence to certain name calling. However, it's a film that's smartly written, well told, and flat out funny. Well, I've never seen no plants grow out of no toilet. Hey, that's good. You sure you ain't the smartest guy in the world? You can watch the film on Hulu or pick it up cheap on DVD.